How's it going guys and welcome to the video. Uh, today we're going to be taking on the Lion Lost Chapter level 100 quest. Uh, I, you'll, I, I can't show you right now but I already t tried it with uh, Lion in the party to do the carry and unfortunately I did. I just missed the score by about 10,000 so we're looking at a difference of about 3 to 4 turns in, re uh, in reality. Uh, it was unfortunate but what that means now I can swap out Lion for a decent character in the roster. I'm going to bring Cloud because from what I've seen uh, bringing a launch character it'll enable you to get a good summon off early so we can get our Bahamut ready. Uh, the previous time I had ended up bringing Chocobo to try and beat the turn requirement but just fell a bit short when uh, I brought a Terra friend and unfortunately her defense uh, her defense and speed down uh, debuffs really helped but she was a little bit too fast and left a bit too early sadly. So we're going to take it on now. Uh, Cloud here should be much better because, well, in this instance, because he is going to be supplying launches, which will supercharge our Bahamut really, really fast. So from what I've seen as well for this, you want to actually keep the worker beasts alive through at least this first turn of the commander beast, because it'll if it if both of them are dead, it'll instead do a defense deep of a, a defense buff on itself, which you don't want. You don't want to be slowed down even more. So we can in here now cloud is just going to be launching for the moment because the increased speed on the summon that's a shame i thought it was going to do the other one the uh the less damaging one where i think it's attack and bravery regen i think it's a uh, on guard or something i can't remember anything. But what we can do instead is just apply these attacks. So we actually have Cloud set up for a near perfect launch next turn, which would be good. Scratch that. <laughs> so we will finish in touch with Cloud. And we will do a regular bravery attack with Selfie because we want her to charge herself up ready for a drain attack on the main boss drain attack so we're gonna have to make sure we shave some of these enemy bravery now i'd love to use that assault trigger but i can't so <laughs> we'll just go straight in with this basic bravery attack selfie is going to use her wall ability and that shouldn't overcharge squall so we can still do another attack and actually set him up almost perfectly for another solid barrel, I think. Excellent. So we're bringing down that bravery of those enemies. Even if they do a HP attack now, our selfie will just heal that straight up. So one thing... <coughs> excuse me. So one thing I wanted to make sure everyone was aware of is to, during this fight, be constantly thinking of... Well, well even before the fight starts, maybe plan out what you're going to be doing with your characters. So Squall wasn't was never going to be doing much more than doing bravery shaving across the board and keeping we might we might just risk the assault trigger now we've got actually the turn requirements are already low enough we should be fine so with squall he was basically only ever going to be on solid barrel plus or assault trigger in these waves until the summon was up selfie was going to only be doing drain or wall hopefully these don't regenerate their bravery now in time end up killing my selfie okay perfectly fine so we can pop our Bamut. So now Bamut popped, it should be easy enough to just drill right through these enemies using Renzo Kukin. And we'll swap out Cloud for another Squall friend so he can just also apply some more Renzo Kukin damage. I nearly swapped out my current Squall, <laughs> that would have been bad. <laughs> so now we have Cloud, swap out. And we will apply a Renzo Kukin. Selfie's just probably gonna do a little bit of battering to the group using her wall and then the final two attacks should be nearly enough to bring it close to demise we don't have to worry too much about the lost potential bravery there and this squall will use his assault trigger he might even fill up his bravery so immediately you can see as well our turn requirement our, our turns are very very low down to about 17 but since we got a few launches off that'll actually increase the turn requirement uh, selfie user drain and then this next attack should end the fight so this will be a bit of a quicker uh, quicker video for everyone just because of the low number of waves in this boss fight 
Uh, recommendations is to br if you have your own launch character, bring him. So even a Cloud was working fine there. So a Cloud or a Cecil. I think I've seen people completing it with a Lail as well. The other option is to bring a friend launcher. And then if you bring a friend launcher instead, wait until the second wave and then call call them in. Squall here should be able, uh, should be more or less fine even without his X weapon. As you can see, I didn't I definitely didn't run out of abilities there. And for the rest of it, I think if you just plan your attacks out ahead of time. I think you should be good because the turn requirements are so low you need to make sure that no matter what the boss does you're going to do this so that'll be everything from me we'll collect the final reward there so as you can see there i just missed the only one i missed was the 170,000 reward so that'll be it from me uh, i hope you had a good time let me know if you enjoyed the video and take it easy